Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream. I'm just setting up speech chat. And we should be ready to rock and roll. I thought we'd check out Real VR Fishing again because I'm really enjoying it. I've been playing it a lot this week. And uh, I wanted to check out journey mode because I actually discovered something on the Facebook group because I couldn't quite figure out why it wasn't showing any of the catches. And it's simply because Just go with it. Send that. There we go. Okay, so we've got speech chat going now. Lovely. Okay, so let's dive in. Should be ready to go. Hopefully the audio levels are right this time. And last time I streamed Ruby or Fishing, there was no audio. This time there should be audio, in-game audio, I mean. So as most of you might know, I absolutely love this game. Super chill and just beautiful. And it's great to fish with other people as well. So what I might do is set up a private lobby later on and then you're more than welcome to join me. Okay, but for now, let's play journey mode. Hopefully I think it's okay. Yeah. Nice. Happy with that. I'm actually facing the screen. Oh, there we go. We are now. Don't know why I click that. Right, journey mode. So we're gonna go tour. Is that where we wanna go? I thought there was more than this. Hang on, what's going on? At all. Oh, there is. There we go. So for those that have literally just picking up this this game and got the new DLC, there's this new mode called Journey Mode. Okay. And you've got tour, you've got collection, you've got environment, and you've got adventure. But I want to start from the very beginning. And this is going to be like the beginner stuff. So we should fly through this, really. But the beauty of this is you get to ch uh, check out different locations. To be fair, majority of them are going to be in Korea to start with. And then we'll work our way to uh, US East. Which is nice. And there's still some fish I need to catch on that map. So... Let's start off at the very beginning. Let's go. So 
so this is what I didn't realize last time I was releasing the fish that is not what you do that is not what you do at all how does that look on stream because I've what I've done oh that looks good that looks all right I've actually what I might do to be honest with you is just up that brightness a little bit there we go I've got the brightness right down I'm in night mode okay battery life's good that's all good we're all good right So that's my rod and mill. And I'm going to switch it to expert because I've been mucking about with some of the other settings. Okay. So all you've got to do is just keep your fish and you can carry on. So we should fly through this. Hopefully anyway. This part, beautiful rainbow. And the South Korea's map has just got so many great memories. Cape Town, I don't know if we've got Cape Town. Oh, that's a good that's a good point. Anyway, how you doing Dan? You good? Let's bring this over here. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm playing a new mode on this called Journey Mode. And I think I just released a fish by accident. So I was supposed to keep every single fish to progress. Cool, man. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Double rainbow as well. Well, that's a bit flat, so let's, let's bring that in. Let's recast that. Just fancy the chilled one tonight. But I will be putting up a community post because there is a few games, top quality games, that I really want to um, play, but... I just weren't in the mood to play them tonight. I just wanted to play something like this, which is perfect. So definitely check out the community tab. Because I'm going to be adding some, some games on there. And be interested to see what you guys would like to see. Come on. The thing is, I'm so easy. Uh, so easy. I'm not so easy. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> I'm so used to um, releasing the fish because I'm maxed out on credits. So I've just got to get in the habit now of keeping the fish to progress. Here we go. There we go, see? And then you'll get that message come up. And we've got something there. So we'll just start off with a bit of float fishing and then we'll do a bit of lure fishing later on. We'll just switch it up a little bit. 
but in the moment I'm in South Korea as you can see look at those buildings Come on, come on fish, it's knocking, bingo, we gotcha. So we'll just catch three fish on here and then see what's next. keep any more oh there's some bubbles over there so this is basically the beginner it's just sort of an introduction to the game that's well quick on the rivers I might actually uh, switch float over there we go. Typical, there's no no fish here now. Oh, so there's fights out there. Uh, oh, what a cast. Bring that in. Bit of way out. That's probably going to be a snakehead, I reckon. Getting a bite. Come on. Bit fussy, this fish. Well, oh, it's a large one. Cool, I nearly lost that then. It's the last thing I want. Come on. So we've got a catfish. And look how many I've caught of those. 513. There we go, so mission complete, so go to Lodge. There we go, back to Lodge. I like this. So any kind of fish. So we're going, this is one of my favorite locations. So now we're moving on to the next one. Cool. Look at this. This river is beautiful. Wow, we've got tons of stuff. I don't know if you saw the stream last time, if you're still there, Dan, but I've actually got animation on the baits now, so you can see, see all the fish move. Let's go for worm. see the worm moving about wriggling around all right so let's do that I'm just going to turn this up a bit there we go that's a bit better okay 
Got some flies behind us. Nice. <laughs> Come on, fish. Let's bring this in. There we go. So I thought we'd have a little bit of background music. It's the in-game music. So every time you catch a fish, you'll get a bit of music like this. And then for like epics and rares, you'll get a different bit of music. And then for the new fish species, the unique, well, not fish species, but for the new type of fish, uniques. It's quite aggressive. I might have to turn the sound down on my PC. I can hear it. Do I not see the fish? Yeah, you'll see it now coming out. And then you'll see it swim away. There it is. Sky Gager. And then as soon as I... Um, if I'm keeping it. The thing is I have to keep the fish at the moment. But just for you, I'll show you the uh, fish swimming away. So there you go. No, I am playing one-handed mode, but I've got to remember to keep these fish, otherwise I won't be able to progress. I can hear the birds, but I can't see them. There's normally a flock of birds that are chasing each other. They don't seem to be here. There we go. Nice. So we got that one. So let's try and speed run this, shall we? Because it seems like all we've got to do is just get any type of fish on the tour mode. So we should be able to speed run this. But what I will show you is I play an expert because I like the most realistic experience. And I've got no line color on either, which sort of gives you an indication how much tension there is on the line. I'll take all that off. Because you can sort of feel it through the haptics of the controller. And you can hear it in the reel as well. So that's your, your sort of indication. Another sky go up. Right, so we've got another one there. But what we'll do, I'll quickly go into normal and then watch this. So all of a sudden you put these visors on. Now you can see all the fish in the water. So is, is this what you meant, Dan, if you're still there? Because you can see it like this. And this is sort of like normal mode. So it's just sort of beginner stuff. See, and you can see the fish indicating. So you can play it like this. And then it shows you what to do. And then once you get used to the the way the game works, it becomes second nature. And we've got a skin carp. So there we go. Back to lodge. 
Ouais. Start stage. Should we? Oh, this is one of my favourites. Love this. Look at the houses. More flies. <laughs> this is one of my favourite locations. This one. Right. So, that was normal mode. So let's go in hard mode. And what will happen now is you get like a tablet come up. So it's like a fish finder. And then you can just sort of use that. We've got loads, loads on the surface. So, let's just cast that out. A couple of ducks going past there. And we've got a skin carp. There we go. Let's change the bait up a little bit, shall we? Let's go with something a little bit different. Uh, let's go with a boilie. Now, we, oh, actually, so what you can do, just by shifting your thumbstick left and right, you can quickly navigate and get your bait that way. So as you can see, when they're green and yellow, especially green it means the fish like that type of bait so i've explained this a lot in other videos but for those that have never played the game that have tuned in you might want to see how things work and you've got your actual time on your watch based on where you live in the world oh we've got a big one And we've got a large mouth bass. So we just need one more and we'll move on to the next mission. So we've got some bubbles over there. So we'll drop the line down. And then we'll go back into expert mode. Bring that over. Lovely. And we're in. Right, we're going to try and speed run this. What's the time now? So, 10 minutes? Yeah, I reckon we'd be able to complete this in 10 minutes. Come on. 
long as it plays ball anyway. Come on, there we go. And another Sky Gogger. Right, back to Lodge. That's that river completed. So we've got, this is the one at night time, I believe. We got the fireflies going over. Yes. There we go, fireflies in the back and uh, in front of us, and then you'll see them fly over our shoulder as well. Right, so we've got some stuff. Right, I switch back to um, expert because not only that, you will be playing it on the higher levels once you get used to the game because it increases your points as well. Oh, that looks quite a, quite a juicy one there. That was all of a flick cast, that was. Come on, there we go. Actually, I should put on my other float so I can see it at night. There we go. See the tip of the rug go. Come on. There we go, we've got a large fish on. And I suppose if you're new to the game, playing the journey mode will help you build up your... Um, My mind's, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> Your money. So you can buy better equipment. So when you go into onto, uh, later stages. See, there's the fireflies over the top. How cool is that, eh? Oh, look at that. Rainbow trout. Oh, we're out of bait. So, let's go into store and let's get some more. Only 150. Let's get another 30 of those. Uh... I want to switch to bait up well. We've only got one worm left. We might as well use that one. Get some more worm. Yeah, we'll go with that single worm there. Well, we've got a lot of action here. Look at all this. Tons of fish about. So we've got this one right here. Oh. Got the moon up there. But I've been playing real VR fishing all week. The US East. Oh, we've got a tiny fish. It's probably a minnow or something. What I will do is I'll switch into two-handed mode because it don't look very good. Oh no, we've got an epic. We've got the goby minnow. Look at that, eh? So yeah, what we'll do, so yep, we've run out of worm now, so 
we'll treat ourselves and we'll go and get some some what am I doing? Yeah, there we go. We'll get some large worms. Let's go thirty of those. There we go. This some attract them quite a bit. Wow, okay, they've all disappeared. That should be all right though. There we go. Perfect. And you can see the bait in the water as well. Right, back to Lodge. Next mission. So, I think this is the last one, River Dong. Oh, yeah. It's a cave over there. Look at that beautiful river. Yeah, let me. Uh, you see that worm moving around there? The animation. Now it's so cool they've done that. Right, so we've got some stuff on the surface. Oh, another weapon there. Let's get that out there. a worm like that on there it shouldn't take too long to catch anything so what I will be doing a little bit later on is setting up a private lobby so if anyone wants to jump in and fish with me you're more than welcome so there'll be another be great to fish with three other people. Well, I thought it'd be a little bit more active than that, to be honest. Ah, there we go. I've got a bite. Tiny. It's a tiny fish. Oh, I didn't switch to two-handed mode either, did I? Just bear with me. It's because normally I like to fish and vape at the same time. But... I'll switch over to two-handed mode. There we go. Way. Have a quick drink. This is probably the slowest speed run you've seen. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of um ah there we go. Let's see something just over there. There we go, come on, there we go, perfect. Right, let's do this as quick as we can. Oh, I didn't beat my time, I said 10 minutes. Mind you, I've still got one minute, I just need to catch another fish. And then we've completed this, so it wasn't too far out, to be fair. And I was taking in the sights on top of that. So we would have actually done it.
there we go see in two handed mode you can sort of bring the fish towards you and all sorts right, one more fish there's one over there I can see bubbles oh that might be enough yeah, there we go Come on, fish. No worries, mate. Thanks for watching. And what we got? Silver carp. Boom. There we go. Complete. That is what I'm talking about. So, oh, I ain't going to watch. <laughs> Receive reward. Oh, yes, please. You have a new title. Check it out in your private room. Oh. Okay. In my private room. Where's my private room? It's got to be in here, isn't it? Well, I've got a new title. Well, that is not how I want to look. So, I don't know what's happened there. So let's let's change up a little bit, shall we? That's all right. I'm happy with that. The hair, though. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Yep. They blue. Yeah, they're blue. Now you can use your um, actual meta avatar, but what we got here? I thought I had more t-shirts than that. Hmm. I like my hoodies, so I'll stick a hoodie on. What other stuff did I have? I had loads of different stuff in there. There we go. Oh, that's the one I like. There we go. And then the old that. Oh, what have we got here? Ah! Walker of the Korean. There it is. Okay. Have I got any new gloves? So, they're the ones I've unlocked. I haven't locked so many of those because I've been doing the leaderboards and I certainly ke couldn't keep up with a lot of people these days a walker of the Korean rivers nice we'll change that once we've completed each level I think oh I didn't get the hat did I what have we got here What's that look like? I oh, will change that hat straight away. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I like that. Save. Cool. Let's go. So now we have a title to ourselves. I'm so pleased now I've worked out how to do it. It was literally just keeping the fish. Right, so now we've done that. Let's move on to the next one. So we completed that. Oh, yes, is it there? Complete. So, a beautiful lakeside journey in Korea. So, what have we got next? Any fish? Right, where are we going now? Haven't we already done this, though? Oh, we haven't been here. Right, what have we got? Right, let's smash this. What's the time now? Okay. So what I'm going to do... There we go. Perfect. Let's say 20 past. We'll complete all this. Let's speed run this, shall we? Let's go. Get that fishing as quick as possible. Come on. Lovely. Lakeside journey. Oh, this is all going to be the lakes. Oh, that's cool. Right, come on, fish, show yourself. Oh, we're just going to drop it down anywhere. Because otherwise. We're not going to be able to do it. And if I see a fish, I'm going to bring this back in. But with these places, it shouldn't take too long. He says, oh, there we go. Come on. It's moved away. Right, I'm going to go back at the top. Bring that in. There we go. Let's go. Nice carp. Nice common there. Right, one more. One more fish. Come on. That one right there. There we go. Straight in. It's going to be tight, you know. This one's well small, which is good. What have we got? Bluegill. Nice, back to lodge. Let's go. So 
So I don't think we'll complete the whole journey <laughs> tonight, but I'll get as much done as possible, especially with these ones. Ah, oh, this, this is bloody amazing, this one. No one of my favourite locations, especially if it starts raining like this. A little boat. Okay. So we've got a bit of action going on, let's go. Here we go. So it's ten past, so we want to get this in. Ideally we don't really want the bigger fish. If we're going to speed run this, we want to get it done as quick as possible. So we want the smaller ones. Because they're going to be quicker to bring in. Come on. I should have put my uh, B Haptics best on actually. This has actually got B haptic support. And I, the last time I did it is when it first released with B haptic support. But I actually preferred the Wooja vest. Because it picked up certain things that the Wooja didn't, uh, the B haptics didn't. But that might have all changed now. Right, that's the first one. So, I'll drop that down because there's one literally oh, overcast that right in front. We don't need to overcast anywhere because the fish are quite close. So, we should be able to catch something about there. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. Drop the line in and then we get surface fish come up. <sighs> That's okay though. We've got bubbles. This is a small fish, so we should be able to bring this in pretty quickly. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. One more, let's go. Can't fish got your name on it. There we go. Boom, done, next. Let's do a speed run competition on this. That'd be pretty cool. That should be a quite a cool event. Oh, we ain't been to this one for a while. Uh, yeah. Feel like I want to change bait. Well, we got a grasshopper. Yeah, let's change to the worm. Right, so we got fish. Oh, 
there's one over there. To be honest with you though, I should be lure fishing really. That's probably the better option. It's a really speed run. Thinking about it. There we go, we've got a bite. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> My arm's going to be dead. playing this tonight. Bingo, gotcha. I swear I've caught more than that. That one right out there. Oh there. There was one about there, weren't there? So hopefully they grab old. Come on. Yeah, see, float fishing is slowing me down a bit. Need to be lure fishing if we're speed running. Oh, there we go. Let's bring that in a bit more. Bloody miles away now. Come on, that's it. Come over here. Come on. That's it. Come on, a little bit further. A little bit further. Oh, you get. Oh, I can't bother with that. Is he going to fall right in front of that or is he going to turn around and all? Oh, I didn't cast it enough. What's going on here? Right, what am I doing? Bring it in like that. That's it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to switch over to uh, lures. There we go. Come on. You know you want it. There we go. It's a nice small one. Right, let's go, 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 go. It's the last fish we need on this. Let's go. Boom. Oh, leather carp. Also known as a mirror carp. In the UK, one more. Oh, I've got one more. That one right there, come on. Come on, I need you to come over here. That might be quite right. Typical. It's starting to get a bit harder now, I think. There we go. Perfect. Come on. Come on. We just need one more. He's going to turn back around in a minute. Well, they're playing hard to get. Come on. Oh, I can't wait for too long. Oh, let's drop it down. Let's go a bit deep. Nice oh, turn round. 
soon as I cast that out. It's a surface fish that we need, really. Right. I need a drink. Oh, that's it, we're in. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Go, 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 go. And a common. Boom, next. Whew. Well, I'm going to switch it up to lure now. Okay, let's go lure fishing. Uh, and what we want, we want any. Actually, let's uh, change that up. Soft bait. We want soft bait, eh? Go. Here we go. That's better. So we're going to catch fish a lot quicker now. If we're going to speed run this. So we're looking. There we go, look at that. Let's go. Look how quick we're bringing these in now. Now we're lure fishing. We'll keep it on top. I'll we'll drop it down because we've got some bottom fish here. Let's move that really slowly. Bingo. I wonder what we got. We've got to be careful because we don't want to lose a fish. I've got a nice big bass on. that snap 
Come on. Here we go. Oh, go, 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 go. Gotcha. Excellent. Oh, bloody arms killing. Right. And we're back in two seconds, guys. Oh. Be right back. Oh, it's all falling to pieces. Two seconds, guys. I'll get it back. Oh. There we go. 
so and we should be back on any second now there we go oh. why do these things always happen eh? it's my own fault I didn't put any tape over anything Turn that up. That's it. Open that up. And turn that on. And we are in. Back in the room. There we go. Set up my controller. Not a good idea. Right. So let's carry on where he was. More centre, didn't he? Yeah. Cool. Get myself comfortable again. Okay, let's do this last one. Why are we over there? Don't know. Uh, let's recenter ourselves. There we go. Nice night time location here. Moon. Okay, let's get it out there. Let's start catching. Drop it down a bit. A little bit of twitching. And we're on already. Lovely. There we go. Okay, what's the time? So let's try and catch all three fish by 35 minutes past. Let's go, 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 go. And then this will be another one completed. And then we can change our title again. I'm having a lot of fun doing this though. But what is the time? Right, okay. So what I might do is... Release. No! Why did I release it? Meant to keep it. Ah, oh, idiot. Right, never mind. Right, something over there. Let's go straight over there now. Drop it down. Drop it down. Drop it down. There we go. some fireworks come on fish yeah hi Jason been a while Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the uh, US East or Complete Edition DLC. At the moment, I'm just doing like um, journey mode. Just like revisiting other stuff and trying to complete little missions. 
But uh, if you've got the game, I'm going to do a private lobby. So if you want to join me, you're more than welcome. Right, keep it this time. There we go. I keep releasing the fish because I've maxed out on credits, you see. So I'm so used to releasing the fish all the time. But in this journey mode, you've got to keep them to progress. Which I suppose makes sense. Come on. Twitch it that way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Do you own this game, Todd? Uh, Jason, sorry. There we go. Boom. Got it. Mate, it's the best fishing game in VR. No worries, man. No worries. Let's go. Come on. So I'm trying to speed run this. Try and bring this fish in as quick as possible. What's the time? 36. Boom, what we got? Catfish. Right, one more fish, let's go. And then we've completed this one. Right in front there. Let the bait drop down. Come on, fish. Come on. You know you want it. What bait have I got on, actually? It's a good point. Okay. What have you been beta testing? If you don't mind me asking. Come on. Come on. Oh, I might have to go for... There's no fish on top. Hang on. Well, at the moment... At the moment, I'm just literally trying to catch something. <laughs> But what I'm trying to do is, well, I'm lure fishing for the quickest way to, to catch fish. Because I was float fishing originally, and I thought, hang on, this is taking too long. Switch over to lures. There we go. Boom. And then just bringing them in as quick as possible. I mean, this is quite a small fish, so... I mean, I 
Tornado fans are going to drop off. There we go. So I literally just reel them in as quickly as possible. Boom. And that is that one complete. Get in there. That's probably why they call it the complete condition. Edition. Receive reward. Here we go. What we got? Traveller of the Korean Lakes. Right. Let's go and change our title. So when you go into multiplayer, you'll see your title name come up. So where is it? There it is. Boom. So there you go, Traveller of the Lakes. There's me, that's what I look like in, in real VR fishing. Cool, let's go. So what's next? So we're 22% on that, wow. So we've still got some way to go. We completed two, but I think I'm going to jump into some multiplayer now and uh, set up a private lobby. If no one comes in within 20 minutes, then I'll do a public lobby. So let's just, uh, yeah, I want to keep to the east because there's plenty of fish I still need to catch on there, so we can create a room. And we are going private and US East and the passcode is going to be D D V R. Okay. So it's gonna be D D V R. Four people there. Nice and easy to remember. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's been a while since I played uh, I'm Rebellion. How's it going on there? <laughs> and that underdogs, how is that looking? I'm excited to play that one as well. I bet it's going to be amazing. Is that a, That's going to be a single player game, isn't it, Underdogs? I don't think it's going to be multiplayer like uh, Iron Rebellion. But wasn't there a plan for there to be a campaign in Iron Rebellion as well? Down the road some point, if I remember rightly. <laughs> I had that tonight, funny enough. <sighs> Burger King. That was lush. Double bacon XL. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this is my aquarium. I'll show you around quickly. Yeah. And there's my trophies. Unfortunately, when I won the competition, it was on Oculus Go, so it doesn't show that I was first. Which is a shame. You think cross over. I should show my trophy on stream actually. My real life trophy that I won in the game. Right anyway, let's uh let's go fishing. So if anyone is in chat that wants to join me, the uh the room code is DDVR, all in capitals. 
so I'm after one fish here so let's go to Liberty Island because we're now on the East Coast and there she is Statue of Liberty beautiful right so what I'm after is this and I ain't got a clue how to catch it because it's not giving anything away it's not even telling me whereabouts what depths it in so I don't even know what depth that's going to be ah <sighs> What a pain. But what we should be aiming for is to me that looks like a shark. So generally speaking, we should be looking at getting a bait that is for small fish. And that would be or well, that. So let's get it out there. Let's drop it down. And let's read it in. I might switch over to one handed mode soon. Oh, I can't. I've gone into multiplayer now, haven't I? Unless they've changed it, where it allows you to change from two handed mode to one handed mode. Well, that's going to be annoying. Well, wow. oh, that's cool. Nice. I oh, would have excellent. Oh, wow. So, is it going to be multiplayer then? Because I thought I was assumed it was just like a single player sort of story campaign. That's the impression I got from the trailer. But it's not, so it sounds like it's going to be multiplayer. That's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. So we're just gonna spend about ten minutes in each map, roughly. Ah. Ah, okay. So is that going to be released this year or is it going to be a, uh, a 2024 release? I don't know why I'm rushing this, I'm not doing the campaign now. I'm not a campaign, the uh, journey mode. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't show you the, uh, the salt water aquarium you see some of the stuff in that We've got sharks all various different 
C species in that one. I'm going to have to switch over to Van Ander in a moment. My shoulder's going. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was the first person to win the season tournament four years ago and won a real life trophy. And it was a one off. I never did it after that. So you win in game trophies, but I won, yeah, I won an in game one and a real life one. Uh, good question, mate. I haven't heard anything. But I don't know how much more they're going to do to this game. Because I've heard this is going to be it. But I'm hoping they do update it for the Quest 3. But whether they add mixed reality, I'm not too sure, mate, to be honest. Oh, I need to come out of multiplayer. Let me go back to Lodge. Because I need to change the one-handed mode because my shoulder is starting to kill hopefully I can still do it for a minute oh damn it right okay so we're going to have to quit multiplayer I wish they've updated that where you can change from one-handed to two-handed mode while in multiplayer. I don't know why that would be a thing where you can't do that. Okay. I don't know why that affects it going into a loading screen. It's weird. But there we go. Right, so we should be yes yeah so to catch shark yeah, I'll tell you what I'll take you down to my aquarium downstairs this is where my saltwater fish are you get some idea of the size of the fish that you can catch so here are all my sharks so to catch sharks I unlock that you don't actually catch that unfortunately that would be pretty cool but everything else you can catch in the game yeah. um As long as you've got the main game, then yeah, you could come and fish with me. No problem. You don't have no, necessarily have to have the DLC because you can still fish with me, I, I believe. Yeah, so if you've literally just got the base game, that's not a problem. You should be able to fish all the other stuff. All you've got to do is just go into multiplayer where it's, you see them two people clapping there. And then I'll create a room and then you'll see this come up. My name there. We'll go private over to US East Coast. And then, this is going to be it, DDVR, that is it, DDVR, all capitals. Who's that? There we go. 
back to one-handed mode. Oh, I can have my vape now. I know I shouldn't be vaping and streaming at the same time, but... <laughs> Did you? Well, I bet it was amazing, wasn't it? Band for light. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's see. Was that because you're not supposed to go in there? Ah. Well, let's try and catch this unique fish. I'm not going to spend too long in each location. I'm going to move on to the next one. But yeah, to catch sharks, basically you need small to medium fish. Yeah. Mm. I know, I hope they don't sort of shy away from the VR aspect of it because I know they're really trying to push out mixed reality stuff and don't be wrong it's pretty it's pretty cool but it's not something I'd want to do all the time I'd rather be doing virtual reality over mixed reality any day because in the day VR is all about escapism where mixed reality you're still technically halfway in reality <laughs> but it is pretty cool what they can do with it but one thing I was thinking about though little theory if someone's new to VR or it's their first headset and they're prone to motion sickness, the fact that they can still see their real world, I'm wondering how that would help as sort of a, a gateway into wearing a headset and then eventually making their way into VR. I was thinking about that the other day. Because could it help people overcome motion sickness because I mean that would be pretty cool because it means getting more people into headsets Nice sea bass. Well, we can release these now. Oh, come on. We need to get this. So, at 9 o'clock, we're going to move to a different location. So, if anyone's in chat that wants to join me fishing, the code is DDVR, capitals. Salty. OK. 
come on. I don't think that fish is interested in this particular lure. Oh, come on. Please, thank you. <laughs> All right, that fish is not going for that bait. So let's try this one. All right. Last fish on there. I'm going to move on to the next location. As I spent ages last night in this stage. Trying to catch that unique fish. Orange thing. What orange thing is that? Right, let's move on to the next location. So, I think I've got all the fish here actually. But I'll quickly show you anyway. Where's my vape? In my hand. <laughs> so this is... Kingston Key. Pretty cool. Here's my boat. Right, so let me have a look, because I think I've got all the fish here. Yeah, I have. So there's no point of fishing that one. So let's go over to Beehive Lagoon. And let's see what I need here. This is a cool one. All the stars. I do like the night time maps. Just need like a little bonfire in the background, just, you know, that'd be nice. Oh, I've caught all the fish here as well. Ah, oh. all right, next. <laughs> right, I think I need quite a few on this one. Every time I see this, I think War of the Worlds, when I see that building over there. <laughs> and this place is Seaside Park. So if anyone lives near Seaside Park, can you please tell me what that building is over there? Because I'd love to know. I might have to Google it later if no one can tell me. It looks like there's no one over there as well. Right in the distance. Right, so what fish do we need? We've got one there. And one there, so we need two. Okay, so. This is a rare fish. This can be caught any depth. Lovely. Right. Uh, hang on, about we've not even got the right thing on. That's what we want. Ah, yes, that's a good point. No, I want to do that, and I want to change to that 
there we go look at my US rod and reel proper snazzy right We're in. We could have fucking catch a shark on stream. No worries, Jason. Yes, definitely. Thanks for joining me, uh, Jason. Much appreciated. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, have you updated it at all? Should be on version. Oh, you have? Okay. Oh, personal best. Um. Exactly what they're thinking. Um. Yeah, Jennifer, try restarting your headset. And then try again. Right, let's bring that back over here. Hello. Ah. Oh. Yes. World communities indeed, definitely. Come on, let's try and get a shark. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I should. The only thing I could suggest is uninstalling the game and reinstalling it, Jennifer. Because if you've got Cloud Save on on Real VR Fishing, then all your data should be saved. didn't get that hang on let me read that message I 
almost not come up. <laughs> Why it's not come up? Uh, thank you. All oh, right. Yeah, no worries, Jennifer. Hopefully, get it resolved. If you go on to the uh, Real VR Fishing um, Discord and let them know, let the devs know. Alternatively, you could go on to um, Real VR Fishing fans on Facebook and speak to someone on there. Someone might be able to help you. Because, yeah, that's all I can think of really is either resetting your headset, restarting your headset, sorry, or um, uninstalling and reinstalling the game. catching quite a few of these different types of fish but I want to catch whatever it is that's out there so there's a rare fish we need to catch and a unique fish but I can't catch that unique fish until I caught the rare fish but I'm not going to spend too long in each one so what I'm going to do get a couple more minutes on here and then i'm going to open up her public lobby i think so that we can have people join us and i'll let them know i'm streaming it'd be nice to have some people fishing with me as well Ah, I think that's it. Is this the rare fish? This could be it. Yes, we got it. Trigger fish. We got the rare fish. So now... We should try and catch that unique one now. So I'm going to stay a little bit longer now. I've changed my mind. Because now we've caught that rare one. I didn't expect to catch it that quick. So. Let's go on here. Click on here and confirm. Because I don't know if it does anything. But I'm going to try it. And let's see what happens. Trouble is, I don't know what sort of bait it wants. Mind you, I didn't know what sort of bait this one had. Maybe I should go for the worm. Where are we? we in this salt water, though, aren't we? Seaside Park. Yeah, so... Mm. Let me Let me see what we got. Good for large fish. I don't know really the size of that fish. 
various fish. So we can go for the spoon. Because it's for various fish. So hopefully this could help. It's typical, nothing's nothing's about now. Bingo. So when you catch a unique fish, it jumps out of the water as soon as you catch it. And then you get a sort of dramatic music, which is why I've got the music on. Normally I turn it off. But I wanted to hear it. So we'll stick to that area because that's what I caught the last fish. I should bring it in a bit slower than that really. I might have to reset the fish again because it looks like it's gone a bit quiet. We'll give it a little bit longer. Actually, we'll go down the bottom. We'll drop it down. gone very quiet right okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up I'm gonna quit multiplayer I'm going to do a public lobby. And then anyone can join. Oh, my hand's up there. Let's uh, move that out of the way. Where's my controller? There it is. There we go. So. Connecting, I'm going to create a room, public, US East, we have up to four people in there. Let's go. And where was we? We were there. So let's go into number five now, which is the Hudson River. Let's go. So now anyone can join us. Hopefully some familiar faces come in. Because I've made some good friends in this game. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know how they'd take it being live on, on stream though, but there we go. <laughs>
Right. Let's do this. What fish do we need here? So we've got a couple here. Yeah? Oh, we've got loads to catch this. So we'll spend a bit of time here. So what we got here? This is a surface fish. And we've got the spinner. Right, well, let's go. So we'll fish from from left to right, I think. Typical. Right, we'll drop it down then. Oh, we're in. Are we in? Yes. Smallmouth bass. Well, that's not a new fish. That one out there, though, well off. That should have been there. That's where I want you. Gotcha. So we've got plenty of new species to catch on this one. That I haven't caught before. Oh, what have we got here? Brook trout. Ah, oh. <laughs> caught that one before as well. Caught that in US West. Come on. You know you want it. Tasha Blair. Hello there. How you doing? Just to, just to let you know, just to let you know I'm streaming, all right? So are you all right with that? Cool. Uh, I've literally just started this one. Oh, is that where it is? No. God, he must have been. Oh, okay. Oh, happy birthday for yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday. Oh, all right. Cool. So I take it you got the quest for your birthday, yeah? Oh, last Christmas, yeah? Oh, Atlantic salmon, that's a new fish. I'm getting a little bit of feedback on my computer. Two seconds. <sighs> There's a few fish I need to catch on here. Well, I don't know what they are because I haven't caught them yet. Oh, 
I've got there's about there's epics rares I need to catch. There's two epics, obviously unique once I've caught all the other fish. Plus a couple of small ones. Is there three rares? I think it's just one, isn't there? Oh, I've got the uh, flathead catfish. I've got that. Yeah. That was... Oh, and uh, yellow bullhead. I've got that one. So, I just need... Oh, I need the sturgeon. No worries, man. No worries. Yeah, it's about it's still about seven fish I need to catch on here, so I want to try and spend a bit of time on this one. Okay. Yeah, I've caught two. I've caught two unique so far. Yeah, I still need the unique on the first map. Which I think is going to be a shark, so I think that's going to be quite tough to catch. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I don't suppose you know what, what lure or what bait to use. EGIA. Oh, I've caught the sturgeon. Look at that. Okay. What's EGA? Yeah, what does that look like? Because I don't know it by that. Is it a spoon? Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you catch all the octopuses on. Okay, and you call it on that. Right, okay, I'll bear that in mind. Well, I've caught two new fish. Oh. I caught them on the second stage and the third stage. But I couldn't tell you what they were. I haven't caught them enough to remember them. Do you know what? Now I know what one to use. Let's do it. Let's go over to back to number one. Right, okay, so let's switch over to that lure. Oh, I've registered for the um, DLC. So, I don't know if you might still have time. So, if you go on to realvrfishing.com, you can pre-register. I think you can still pre-register it, and then you unlock this. No, it's not that.
as long as YouTube don't pick it up. <laughs> I might get copyrighted. Just for bubbles, yeah? Okay. So not surface. Okay. Right, so in that, in that case then, it's not going to be um, at the surface, and is it? It's going to be sort of mid-depth to, to bottom depth. So you're just letting all the other fish release, yeah? If, it's, if it doesn't jump out the water, Okay. So have you got all the other DLCs? Do you have all the other DLCs? Cool. So is this your most played game then? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, a seagull did quite fly quite close. So, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Let's see. That's Testral Theory. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm seeing bubbles, but I might have to change my rod because I'm only using the... White trout. Right, so I'm going to switch over to this. Where is the bubbles? Because that's what we need. Did it jump out of the water?
Well, I'm not seeing any bubbles. I might have to reset the uh, reset the fish. So let's do that. So you can actually catch uniques on any difficulty as well, can't you? White lightning. Hi, white lightning. Just to let you know I'm streaming, okay? You right with that? Cool. Right, so we've caught the common octopus, not what we wanted. So we're both fishing for the unique at the minute. <laughs> he said he was going to stay until we caught it. <laughs> oh well. I just want to test his theory out. He reckons that this particular lure is going to catch a unique fish. So let's see. He reckons only bubbles, which is bottom feed fish. So let's have a look, which I'm not seeing anything. I see a lot of surface fish, but no bubbles. Ah, there we go. One right there. Oh, I am, yeah. Yep, that's all I need on this map, or this stage, shall I say. I've been trying to catch it for ages. Spent most of last night trying to catch it. Trying all different stuff. And the guy that was with us just a minute ago reckons that you should use the EDG lure. And only fish at the bottom. So I'm testing his theory. <laughs> It's worth a shot, I suppose. Have you caught the fish? The pink shark yet? No. you still got fish to catch still. Yeah, I caught that last night. Drum, not what we want. Oh, we've got some more bubbles there.
it would be cool to catch that shark on stream. But we've got about 20 minutes to do it. Uh, I've been streaming for about two hours. Obviously, I've played other stuff in real VR fishing. That journey mode's quite cool. Have you completed that one yet? The journey mode. So, on your main screen, in the lobby, if you see a plane, so you know where you see see um, your maps, leaderboards, yeah? But if you click on that plane, yeah, yeah, there is now, yeah. Yeah. What you need to do, though, is what I found out, is you have to keep all the fish, okay, to progress. Yep, yeah, so, yeah, me too. But the reason you do it is to progress in journey mode, all right? So a little tip for you, which I found out on the Facebook group. I'm looking for bubbles. <sighs> So he didn't actually catch it, but his dad took his headset off just as he caught it apparently, and he saw pink. So, I don't know. Oh, you got the stingray. Nice. Right, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch from expert to normal. Bat ray. Oh, it's not a stingray, it's a bat ray. Nice. Is that a personal best? First one. So, what fish do you need to catch now? So, you need to catch a unique fish in, yeah? I was, have you, hang on, so you haven't caught the pink fish, uh, pink shark yet, no, you have it, oh you don't have it, so that's got to be your last fish then, so that's what I'm fishing for, so if I bring this in, apparently, this is the lure you need, I'm going to restart my fish again. And I'm going to go into... Okay. 
Okay, these fish look quite small. Uh, I don't know what the other ones are now, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm a assuming it's going to be quite a big green fish at the bottom actually thinking about it Uh, it might treat it like epics. <laughs> hmm. Come on. Right, I'm going to try, I'm going to go back to float fishing, and I'm going to try the cr crawfish, and, because that's what normally catches rare, it, it's what catches the rare and epic fish, isn't it, so, Hello, Mr. Bean. <laughs> nice. Just to let you know, Mr. Bean, I'm streaming, okay? You alright with that? I'm only going to be on for another 10 minutes anyway. float have I got on? That's right, yeah, yeah. Well, if you call it first time, that's that's brilliant, isn't it?
Me? Yeah, I'm sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you take your headset off. <laughs> Come on, shark, where are you? Oh, his rod's all the way over here. <laughs> Oh, I see bubbles out in the distance. Green. Uh... Not sure. I don't know what epic you're trying to catch. No, it's just a black drum, that one. After all that, just a common octopus. But the bubbles are still there, so it's not what we're after. And I've cast way too far over to the right there. Come on. What do we have here, I wonder? Yeah, it's either the red drum or the black one. At least it's not the grouper. I caught loads of groupers the other night. Okay. What epic is it you're trying to fish for? Oh, you want about the tree fish, yeah? Okay.
it's sort of yellow and brown. I vape. I vape on stream as well. I shouldn't really. <laughs> Yeah, see like white knot in. Come on. Not seen any bubbles. So let's reset the fish. Let's see what we get. And what I'm also going to do. Is confirm it. Ah. I don't know, I can't. No, it's not. Uh well I'm I'm trying to catch this pink shark at the minute. But yeah, you, you before I go, we'll have a look at my fish tank, alright? Yeah. Yep. Is it a personal best though? No, it's not. What right, bubbles? Hmm. I'm not finished yet. Come on, where's all the bubbles? It's got loads of surface fish. Ah. Wow.
caught another one of them home. Bolt, squid things. This pink shark seems to be quite an impossible fish to catch. I've caught two uniques already on two other stages, but this first stage, well, this pink shark is tough. Is it a personal best? No. You know what? I'm just going to try and... If I see any moving fish, I'm just going to put my line out. Because I don't know. I'm just not convinced... Just not convinced. I was really hoping I'll be able to catch it on stream. Because that would have been pretty cool. But it don't look like it's going to happen. So I'm going to do another five minutes. Let's bring this in a bit. Because there's something moving right there. Because you never know. Right, to speed things up, I'm going to let it go. I want to see what that is out there. There we go. <sighs> Don't think this is it either. So I think all your inks jump out the water and the music sounds exactly the same so I don't think it's it so I'm just waiting to see yeah it's just a grouper either that right let's release you I don't want to waste too much time catching other fish when we're targeting one fish. Come on. I'm going to hold out a little bit longer. Just to try and catch this pink shark. That's not it either. Thing is, if I do release it every time, it's going to be the same blooming fish. So. <sighs> release it I'm 
what a cost.
Right, let's quickly get this going again. Really need to get some time.